What's happening, boxing? What's happening, YouTube? It's Amp. About that boxing. Man, I got big news. Big update. Breaking news. Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia has been moved from Vegas to the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. That's right. The fight is not taking place in Vegas, according to Oscar De La Hoya and several other resources. You can go check that out for yourself. Anyway, if you are anywhere in the area, if you're in Brooklyn, you got an event to go to right here. All right, so if you're a Devin Haney fan or a Ryan Garcia fan, come out and support your mans in this event. Come out and support your fighter. You get guys getting all jazzy in the comments and sassy like chicks in the comments. Be typing hard as hell in these comments trying to defend their fighter. But this same guy won't buy a pay-per-view and won't be at the Barclays Center watching the fight. Won't be there. So get out there and support your man. Support the sport. Anyway, along with that comes more breaking news. There was an interview with Bill Haney. It was on The Boxing Voice with Ness. Shout out to The Boxing Voice for the interview. Anyway, in this interview, Bill Haney, and I'm going to let you listen to it. Let's, let's listen to him first, and then we'll talk about it. So I'm gonna let y'all hear what Bill Haney said. Here it goes. If, if there was a weight restriction, I'd let you know. If once you get on the scale, if you get on the scale and there's a particular weight that you need to be, right? That's someone writing some stuff in within the WBC rules and rankings as a, as a champion, right? There's no restriction on Ryan. There's no restriction on Devin in any way other than getting on the scale and weighing 140 and fighting the next night. That's it. So, and it's for everything, it's for everything. And I think that that's important because when you talk about restricting one of the fighters from doing what the Queensberry rules of, you know, uh, 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 the WBC rules in particular, um, you know, then you talk about a handicap. You talk about a fight uh, within a fight. This one is for everything. It's all, it's for, you know, it's uh, it's the seat, man. It's that chair. It's that chair at, in, in the division, in boxing, that they're both are fighting for. And uh, it's going to be fireworks on 420. So no rehydration, no catch weights. No rehydration, no catch weights. Winner takes all, uh, Ness. Rematch no rematch calls. Call. No rematch clause, no anything. It's winner take what? all. It's for, every, it's for everything, baby. No, no, no uh, one way rematch for Devin. No. No rematch clause for Ryan. No. So y'all heard it. No rehydration clause. No stipulations other than VADA testing. Only VADA testing. No rematch clause. Now, is that confidence or is that confidence? No rematch clause. So this actually plays in favor of Ryan Garcia, in my opinion, because he doesn't even have to rematch Devin Haney if it's close and he wins. If for some reason Ryan Garcia pulls it off and he wins, he does not have to fight Devin Haney again in a rematch. Now I got Devin Haney easily winning this fight. I already told y'all, I believe Devin at 140 is a whole different Devin than the weight drain Devin that was trying to squeeze into the 135. I think y'all should definitely check this fight out if you don't have the ability to be there at the arena as I do not at least pay for the pay-per-view we got to start supporting the sport or it's gonna fall off now i told y'all this is not necessarily the fight that i want but it's a great fight still it's a great fight so i think it's going to be one of the more exciting devin haney fights y'all should definitely check it out 
Anyway, that's pretty much what I got on this. Y'all let me know what y'all think. No rematch clause. No, none of that. I don't know if this, the, you know, I was hearing it. I don't want to like put any two people at odds, but that sounded like a shot at the way Tank Davis and that team over there does business where they're putting all these clauses into the match to make sure that Tank has an advantage, which Devin in this situation is like, I don't want the advantage. I don't use rehydration clauses. Let's just go in there and do what we do. This is boxing. And yes, people want to say, oh, well, Devin blew up to this weight. Well, he blew up to every boxer could do that. That's not a one guy thing. That's not one. Only one dude could go and rehydrate to a big size. And that's not always an advantage to do so. Y'all need to learn more about boxing. Being big is not big. Yeah, OK. You could you could lay down on somebody, but come on, is Devin Haney the type of guy that's gonna lay down on somebody? He might clinch him. He get his clinch on, depending on the fighter. But come on, man. We know this is boxing. Both guys can rehydrate and get big. If your guy didn't rehydrate and get big, knowing that Devin Haney supposedly always rehydrates and comes in 20 pounds over his weight and all that, all boxers could do that. You only have to make the weight on weight day, idiots. No rehydration clause in this fight. I'm appreciating this. I'm appreciating this. No rematch clause. Shows true confidence on the side of Team Haney. True confidence. And like I said, this is a prime opportunity. If Ryan's going to go for it all and go out on his shield, this is the time to do it. This is the time to do it. This is the time to get that hook in order, Ryan. This is that time to train as hard as you've ever trained because you don't even have to fight this dude again if it's close. And you win. You don't have to fight Devin Haney again. That's all I got for this one. Y'all let me know what y'all think about no stipulations in the contract. No rematch clause. Let me know what y'all think, man. Be sure to like and subscribe, man. Be sure to hit them notifications. I shouldn't have to keep telling y'all this ish. I shouldn't have to do it. Anyway, that's all I got, man. Amp, about that boxing.